whether that's with your digital SLR, whether that's with your new $5,000 digital mirrorless camera, or whether that's with the latest and greatest iPhone. Uh, everybody can benefit from learning how to take better photographs. For more than four decades, HCC's photography department has been giving students the opportunity and resources to express their artistic minds in new and creative ways. Stephen McPhillan, one of Owl Media's current photographers, wanted to get a behind-the-scenes look into the department and ask Professor Rollinger and his students about photography and what learning about it has done for them. I feel like I generally was always interested in photography, but it, it was never like something major until like I finally, I was looking through my electives because I wanted to take an elective for my mass comm major and I saw photography so I said, hey, that's cool. And then film also seemed even cooler. I always liked photography. Um, I enjoyed black and white much more than digital. I learned a lot from just black and white one. I learned how to take pictures and how to mount them and cut mat boards, which is oddly hard. I really enjoyed photography in high school. I never did any analog stuff before. Analog photography is where you actually take film into a camera rather than digital. And like digital has the SD card and film has film to it. And then you develop it with a bunch of chemicals and then you get a photo. I've used digital and analog. I prefer black and white because I can like get my hands on it. I'm like tilt the frame if I need to tilt it this way and then I can like change the stop and make it darker and lighter and it's just it's more hands-on whereas digital I gotta like edit it in a computer with my like cursor and I'm like oh look make this thing darker which I don't think is as much fun. I had a passion for photography ever since I was a little girl, probably about age seven. I've been working on a few personal projects. My favorite one right now that I'm currently working on um, for the rest of the year is a human canvas series I have going on where I literally turn people into canvases and put paint on them. I've wanted to teach photography from a very early age, I would say. I, I worked commercially for a couple years and almost immediately got burned out with the idea of having to um, work for a living nine to five making photographs and then come home on the in the evenings and on the weekends and make my own artwork and that was disheartening so I got out of the commercial industry and decided I would teach because it gave me the time and ability to focus on my own work uh, and you know still get to inspire you know the future artists of tomorrow everything from digital photography to film and analog photography, studio lighting. We have digital one, we have digital two, we have black and white one, black and white two, so we have advanced courses of, of both digital photography and black and white photography. There's the darkroom workshop, uh, independent study courses, and we're always growing our resources as we go along. There's a million minute details and you're gonna miss some and that's okay, but as long as you take what you learn and apply it to your next project, you will find your art slowly improving. Think outside the box be creative in that way. There were moments where I was very hesitant to do self-portraiture. Once someone convinced me to do it and give it a try, because they said, maybe you'll end up liking it. I actually did end up liking it, and now I do them more often whenever I'm short on models or model fails at the last minute. I have my stuff. because everybody takes photographs, that's why. Because I know that everybody that's watching this has a smartphone. Everybody pulls out that smartphone and takes photographs. Uh, and if you learn a little bit about how photography works, you'll take better photographs. It's, it's a, a skill that, that, you know, there's not a person on planet Earth that couldn't benefit from learning a bit more.